The Vikings coming off their biggest win of the season to date, and they get a team in Detroit that hasn't won at the Metrodome in its last 10 tries. That's 10 years. Jason Hoare with CBS Sports' Charlie Castro. They're glad to be with you on the NFL previews presented by Comcast. We'll get to the winless Lions in a sec, but Charlie, let's start with Minnesota. Maybe winning a game that it shouldn't have won at New Orleans. How does that propel them moving forward? Well, I think what it does, it gives them even more confidence in the veteran quarterback, Gus Farratt, who made two big plays or engineered two big drives at the end of the ball game. So uh, from there, I think you have uh, confidence. They're 2-1 and one with Gus Farratt as a starter. They know what? You know, we can run the ball, we can throw the ball, we can play defense. Uh, we've got a chance here uh, to make up some ground here in the division. And, and Gus Farratt has been the stabilizing force for this team. And they won a game without Adrian Peterson. 32 yards on 21 carries. But, Charlie, I don't think anybody's expecting Adrian Peterson to be held down by the Lions this week. No, I, I thought that was an inspired effort by the New Orleans defense uh, on Monday night. But uh, uh, the Lion, Lions defense will be inspired. I don't think they're as good. Here you see Peterson's statistics through the first four games and then uh, last Monday night. No, I would look for Adrian Peterson to get the ball and have a big game Sunday. What about with the Lions right now? Because obviously they're, you know, there's calls in Detroit. There were questions to Rod Marinelli for him to, are, are you going to quit? And you, you got the answer you want out of your coach. No, I'm not going to quit. we got to strap it up and, and fight and play through it. But look, when you look at this team, they're 0-4. What do you see when you look at Detroit in terms of can they improve? Yeah, I think it's going to be hard to improve. You know, uh, what you may see here is you know going with a younger quarterback there. If John Kitner, whether it's Drew Stanton or Dan Orlovsky uh, at a quarterback, at least maybe you find out what's behind John Kitner because John Kitner is not going to be there forever. You can see the stats. You know, nothing is. Uh, very impressive there, unfortunately, but but it's going to be a long year for the Lions. And let's talk about those quarterbacks here because uh, you mentioned John Kitten is hurt. They're expecting to start either Stanton or Dan Orlovsky, uh, the fourth-year pro out of Connecticut, Drew Stanton, the second-year pro out of Michigan State. Neither has taken a, uh, a start in the NFL. Neither has made a start in the NFL. When you look at those two guys and you put them up against the Vikings' pass rush, this could be a, an ugly football game. Well, it, it's going to be tough because, first of all, you're on the road. You've got the crowd noise that's going to affect your offensive line. Uh, your only hope here is to come out fast. You played, this is Detroit now, played last week very poorly uh, coming out of a bye, which should never happen. Now, uh, Minnesota has the disadvantage in that they've got a short week this week. So hopefully you correct some of the mental mistakes you made last week against the Bears. You get off fast in this game, and, and, and you get, catch Minnesota uh, coming off slow off the Monday night game, and all of a sudden it's a game at halftime. Lions couldn't stop uh, any of the Bears receivers. They could have a hard time with Bernard Berry, who had a breakout game last week for Gus Farrell. Let's take a look at the AccuScore prediction for this one. 10,000 tests, 10,000 results, and it's all, of course, mathematical. And as you'd expect, Minnesota, the heavy favorite, 82% of the time on the computer. They came out victorious. Charlie, do you like Minnesota, and do you like them big? Yeah, I think Minnesota could have a big win here. Again, that point I made, sometimes off a Monday night game, you may come out a little bit slow, slow but there's just too much talent. I think they could run the ball with Adrian Pearson. They can throw the ball, and I I think the pass rush will smother uh, whoever is the Lion quarterback. Uh, you mentioned snow. Maybe that's the chance for Detroit <laughs> to win. If it snows in Minnesota, the Vikings maybe, bus can't get him to the team. To maybe, the the, maybe the roof will blow off. <laughs> Who knows? Well, let's not say that. That'd be a terrible thing. The game is a 1 o'clock start. For more on this one or any other here in Week 6, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Charlie Casterly, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.